Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna to look at Las Vegas Aces from Cody Fisher and Vanishing Incorporated. What is Las Vegas Aces? It is a gambling routine, kind of. You're, it's done through the guys that you're showing your spectators how gamblers do their tricks and how they could probably win at the casinos. Uh, it's a follow the ace routine, it's a four ace routine. Uh, I think you're definitely gonna like it if gambling routines are your thing. Uh, let's see the trailer. Hi guys, Cody Fisher coming to you from the Magic Estate. Welcome to Las Vegas Aces. If you're doing restaurant magic or walk around magic or strolling magic and you've ever heard the phrase, I hate to play cards with you, this is the trick that's gonna show them why they would. Welcome to Las Vegas Aces. I'm gonna share with you a couple of uh, gambling techniques that you can use, go to Las Vegas and win thousands of dollars. And for this, we are going to use the four aces. Take them out right here, clubs, hearts, spades, where we go, oh, there we go. Uh, is that the diamonds? One more to go, one more to go. There we go, and of course, last but not least, the ace of hearts. So, here's what we're gonna do. Club, spades, diamonds, and hearts. Club, spades, diamonds, and hearts. The first technique that we can use is called a crimp. And, what, and here's what a crimp is. A crimp is whenever you place a tiny bend in the corner of a playing card. Now why is that important? If you have a tiny bend in the corner of one of those aces, if I was dealing these cards, as I deal through the cards, once I feel that tiny bend, I can then deal that card to myself. That technique is known as the crimp. The second technique is known as the palm, and it's basically exactly what it sounds like. Say I want to palm the ace of spades. You basically place the ace in your hand and palm it off like this. Now why is this valuable? The reason this is so cool is because when the dealer deals you cards, you can secretly add that palmed ace to your card. Another technique is called the Boy Scout crossover. Check this out. I can take this ace of clubs, for example, and if I want to, all I have to do is just cross my hands over just like this. And when I do that, that ace of clubs goes across. Here's the heart and the diamond over here, which means right over here we have the club and the spade. I tell you what, this half of the room, you watch the heart and the diamond. This half of the room, you guys watch the club and the spade. Watch it, I mean, watch it very carefully. This time we're gonna actually take the ace of diamonds. We're gonna do a, some, a move called the invisible palm. It looks really good from this angle. It looks really good from this side too. Actually, you can't see that palm card until you set it down on the table. So if we look right here, that would be the ace of diamonds in between the club and the spade. The last one is the most difficult one to go. The ace of hearts, check it out. It's called the invisible rub. I just rub the card like this. It travels through the bottom of the table, up through the aces, and right there. That's how we get the club, the diamond, the heart, and the spade. And that is Las Vegas Aces. All right, so that was Cody Fisher. Uh, you might remember that we just recently did another review for him, uh, The Deal Sealer. Uh, both of these effects are brought to you from The Magic Estate. All right, so a couple questions we always ask about all of our Magic reviews, and the first of which is, what's in the box. What's in the box? You're getting a cardboard sleeve, uh, you're getting two gas cards, so a red card or a blue card, and you're getting the download code to a 17 minute video. Is it what I thought? Um, I figured it was a gaff because it says gaff in the title. <laughs> so that was kind of like my first giveaway. Uh, so I figured it was a gaff and a routine married together. You know, it's a gambling routine where you have a gaff card and it's kind of hidden during the routine. So it is kind of that, if that's what you're already thinking. And if it wasn't, you are now. All right, so how are the angles? Uh, there are some angles, but it's all card magic and card gaffes, okay? So you have a, a legitimate card gaff that you're trying to keep hidden. So you're revealing it, it's popping out at different times during the play. And so if you're already kind of familiar, already comfortable using card gaffes in a routine, there's only one, um, you're just kind of moving that in and out invisibly, um, but the slides involved are not that difficult. Can it be inspected? Uh, really when the trick is over, there's only the four aces left for the spectator to find. So there's really nothing left in play that would indicate to them that there was an extra card that they never saw. So in the end, everything is perfectly examinable. What's the overall quality and production value? Um, it's perfect. 
Uh, the Magic Estate makes great DVDs. Um, Cody Fisher is a good teacher. Um, he speaks well. The background isn't distracting. The music's not distracting. It's well shot, well mic'd. Uh, camera angles are good. Um, you're getting a quality product. Is the gaff well made? It is a United States playing card company gaff. You're gonna get a red backed rider back and a blue backed rider back. All right, so how much practice does this routine require? Um, there is some setup, okay? And of course, you'll need to learn the routine, the scripting, and all of that, okay? Uh, so, but Cody Fisher will give you key points, and he'll also briefly cover the four or five slights that you're gonna need to know. Um, he's not really gonna teach them to you, okay? Because they're not exactly his to teach, but you will see them, and if you already have kind of an intermediate approach, or you're already at an intermediate level with card magic, you should be familiar with these already. They are pretty basic. How much setup and reset is there? Uh, it is a deck stack, okay? And it will take your entire deck, okay? You won't be able to just bring out any deck. You'll have to have this deck set up, ready to go to do Vegas Aces, okay? And then to put it back into setup, you'd probably wanna do that off camera, okay? It would take you a little bit to put this back into to, to ready position, but it shouldn't be a problem. All right, so positives. What are the positives to the biggest aces from Cody Fisher? Um, this is an elegant cards across routine that is sure to amaze audiences and fool magicians. I give it 10 out of 10. All right, negatives. What are the negatives to Vegas aces from Cody Fisher? Um, I did say earlier that you get the code to download this video, but that's not entirely true. Uh, you don't get to download it. This is a 17 minute video that you have to watch online. That is really your only option, unless you are some sort of a internet wizard that you can figure out how to crack the code and download the video. Uh, <coughs> but uh, other than that, uh, they're not making this available for you to download. So the only way you'll learn this is if you have an internet connection and that you have an internet connection every time you want to watch it. Is it worth your money? It's $25, $25, 17 minute video, you're getting two card gaffes, but you're getting a really great card routine. So I would say yes, I think this is definitely worth your money. Who would like this? Uh, people that are kind of like Cody Fisher, people that do walk around, people that do table, people that do restaurant magic, I think would definitely like Vegas Aces from Cody Fisher and the Magic Estate. All right, so that is my review for Vegas Aces by Cody Fisher and the Magic Estate. As always, I wanna thank Murphy's Magic for providing this trick for me so that I can review it for you. And if you wanna purchase it for yourself, you can find it from your favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks, bye.